Good morning. Bon dia, bombini, here in Curaçao. Hey, this is Volker Boon from Youth Leader Mission Curaçao. And I want to tell you a little story. So, we started Youth with a Mission here on Curaçao about, let me think, two years ago, maybe. And, you know, the vision is already over six years old. At that time, my wife and me started uh, pioneering uh, Youth with a Mission Caracas. And that's a great story. You know, we started there in the slums with six students and... Then we prayed where we're going to go on outreach, and we had the impression to go to Curaçao. And, I mean, it's a beautiful story where God provided our tickets and our money and everything, and for the time here. And anyway, in that time, God started speaking to me about the islands, and I had a vision, actually, about waves of young people going from the islands to the nations. And... Well, you know, I thought, okay, let's start doing that. But God brought us into different places, and for over six years, God prepared us. We were in a Bible school in, in the States. We were in Germany starting a mobile ministry. We got a little boy who's playing over there. And <laughs> anyway, um, like one and a half years ago, I think, uh, we wanted to run another discipleship training school in Germany, in Bavaria. And then God spoke to us that we should not do that, that we should go to Amsterdam instead. So we said that to our leaders, and they got confirmation from God. So we went to Amsterdam with our whole team. We moved in a matter of like two weeks, we moved from Germany to Amsterdam. And we were there for about six months working together with the Tabernacle of the Nations. It's a 24-7 prayer ministry. And then God said to us, now it's time to go to Curaçao. So we came here. This little lady here was born on Curaçao. Her name is Hope. And God said that Hope had to be born in Curaçao. First to the name Curaçao. Curaçao means, uh, comes from Corazon and Cura which means healing heart, the heart of healing. So God said that hope had to be born in the healing heart. So that's what my wife did bravely. She gave birth to this little person here. So what's so special about Curaçao? Curaçao is, uh, belongs to the Netherlands Antilles. Uh, that means it belongs officially to Europe, so people here can have a European passport. The people are all um, coming from Africa originally. Their ancestors have been brought here as slaves. Everybody here speaks like four to five languages, Spanish, Dutch, English, and Papiamento. Some also speak French or German. You know, and it's uh, situated at the coast of South America. So it's an amazing mixture, and people from here can easily go out as missionaries to the ends of the world, it will be no problem for them. The only problem that is there is people here don't really have an understanding of missions. You know, there are many Christians here, but there are only few missionaries that ever went out from this island. So last year we started the first discipleship training school on this island here, and we had two people from the island doing this school. You know, never neglect the small beginnings. And so... Now, this year, we're going to run the second discipleship training school here on Curaçao. We call it the ABC Discipleship Training School because we want to go to the ABC island with this school, to Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao. And then for outreach, we want to reach out to the other three Netherlands Antilles, which is St. Martin, Seba, and St. Eustatius. So these are our plans for now. Um, what else is going to come? We will see.